Hello everyone, welcome to Connexi training videos. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how you can actually send bulk WhatsApp message. That means like you can actually send thousands of WhatsApp messages within a click of a button. So I'm going to show you how you can do that using this particular tool. That is one is Google Sheet, WhatsApp Cloud API and the other one is Connexit. You build any workflow, you need to create an account in, inside Connexit, that is app.connexit.com. You have to go there and click on sign up to create your account. Once you create the account, just click on login. So once you log in to Connexit, so you will be able to see the insightful dashboard. Go to the apps page and make sure you authorize your account. So for example, so if you are using Google Sheet, in this uh, use case and also whatsapp cloud api you have to authorize this apps so for authorizing google sheet just click on google sheet and then click on add account this will redirect you to google sheet page where you have to give permission for connexit to access your account so i already did that so this is how you have to authorize google sheet inside connexit so similar way you have to do the same thing for whatsapp cloud api so just go and, and click on whatsapp cloud api app and it will ask you for phone number token and a permanent token and the phone number id and the business id so basically i had already made a video of you will receive a permanent token and phone number id and whatsapp business account id for all this you have to have an whatsapp cloud api a step by step process for creating an account and also creating a permanent token and adding a template uh, so inside your whatsapp cloud api account i had made a previous video i will add the same video in the description below please go ahead and follow the steps so that how you will get it like you can set up a step by step process you can set up your whatsapp cloud api account and also you can generate a permanent token and phone number id and whatsapp business account id so once you get that so just add all those values over here copy and paste it here and click on s and continue so this will going to authorize whatsapp cloud api inside connexit so now let's once you've done the authorization process so now let's start building workflow for this you click on create connect here this will redirect you to our visual flow builder where all the magic happens so first start with naming your connect so make sure you name it any id so that you can identify uh, this particular connect i will tell you the reason why i'm just naming uh, by giving an id so once you add an app script inside your google sheet so you have already uh, like have, have an option to identify your which app script you belongs to this you will be required in further so i'll just explain so make sure you name with an id with a unique code basically so so that you can identify that connect and then i will name it as bulk whatsapp from google sheet so now let me drag and drop google sheet so i'm gonna take that google sheet as my trigger so just drag and drop google sheet app select my account select the trigger as new row in sheet so whenever there is a new row i'm just selecting that particular sheet and also selecting my sheet as well so the respective sheet and you have to hit on test and review so this will give you a pop-up where you have to click on proceed and it will ask you a pop-up where you have to add your webhook uh, manually i will show you how to do that as well so basically we are using app script to place the webhook so it will create an app script and it will give you a pop-up and it there you will ask the permission to access your account again so you have to give permission and then click on add trigger so this is where you are just adding a trigger on your app script like on your google sheet so here i will be doing it as on change so whenever there is a change on my google sheet notify me immediately so i'm going to select this particular process 
and click on save that's it so it will again ask you for permission and again so you can see that you can identify your app script name so this is this so don't worry about the warning because this is you're creating the app script inside your google sheet itself so just click on allow and this will finish the process of creating a trigger so you can see that now the trigger has been created so whenever there is an on change it will automatically notify us immediately so let us close this and go to connect it so this will fetch the first row of your google sheet so you can see so this is my first row so it will automatically fetch my first row of my google sheet onto my connect account so now i'm doing straight away sending an whatsapp message using whatsapp cloud api so i will drag and drop whatsapp cloud api so before that you can use text formatter to format your phone numbers and you know like you can also use conditions to if you want to add any conditions so basically so you can do that for example you want to send for a particular set of uh, values or uh, columns so you can do that so just by adding conditions so for example in this case you can see so i have two webinar connect giveaway and connect onboarding so i can actually add a condition here to only to send uh, for a webinar which is connect giveaway which i will get it over here so you can see that webinar giveaway so i can give that to conditions and i can do that so now i am straight away giving it without any conditions or formatter so select my account and select the action as send template message so basically we are sending a template message so as i told before so i already made a video how to create this template messages so my template message do look like this so you can see say this like connects it webinar reminder so basically i'm just bulk sending to all my uh, you know participants on a go so that like within one hour or like maybe one day before so i'm just going to send them and bulk like send to all those who registered for my webinar so within a click of a button so i had created a template so that says like connects it webinar reminder and it says i rakesh mayesh like basically the name of an user and then it says friendly reminder that we ready and excited to see you at connect it onboarding webinar basically this is the webinar name and so and i had given them a link also this is my branding i am doing here and also a join now link that's a cta uh, for them to take action so this is a template i created so now i will be using the same template to send a message so that is connects it webinar reminder so i'm going to select that and select the language so this will ask me for the phone number which is a mandatory field i will connect directly from google sheet and then the webinar name that is the body to and the the name of user so that i just get all those details from google sheet and click on test and review so this will going to send a test message so you can see that i just received an you know sample test message from my whatsapp so you can see that there is some whatsapp message which has been sent it says i eric and it says the friendly reminder and it also gives me a cta where i can click and it will go to my rewards page so which is a cta link which i had given inside my template so now we are ready with our complete process of setting up and you know connect or a workflow so now i am going to click on publish so this will going to publish the connect successfully so our connect is published successfully now i will go to the sheet so and here you have to select this particular uh, you know like uh, column or a row because from there it will be the initial point so from for example in this case i selected the row 2 so from there it will initiate me the whatsapp bulk messages so make sure you select so if i'm selecting from the row 5 so it will going to execute only below that row it will not going to execute above the row so that i'm just selecting the first row and this is a mandatory thing and go to extension and then click on app script 
for sending bulk messages and this is where you have to select your app script so that is the reason while naming so make sure you name it properly because if there are two or three or couple of them so it will be very hard for you to select that so now i had uh, you know i already given the id so i know this is my app script i will click on that so that's it once you're done just you have to hit on run that's it nothing else you will be doing so when you hit on run automatically it will take all the rules and it will send to all these messages like whatsapp messages so i had given the same number just to show you guys a demo so now i am going to the app script again and just hit a run so it will automatically send within a seconds it will going to send you can see this guys i started receiving bulk messages you can see that so this is how you can send bulk messages you can see like this is the first one so that is eric this is the test one so then it started sending me the bulk message if it started from eric so according to my google sheet eric thompson rakesh so it sent to everyone basically you can see this so it sends to eric thorsten and like rakesh so everyone and the good thing you know it is like it will also like we actually given the as a name dynamic and i also had given the webinar name also dynamic so you can see here for first three i had given it as connects it giveaway and it says for first three it says connects it giveaway and then next uh, three i just told us connects it webinar so basically this is how you can actually send dynamic even though you are sending bulk whatsapp messages you can send dynamically hope you guys like this video and if you have any doubt on this particular automation do drop on the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all your questions thanks for watching this video guys have a wonderful day